Greetings, it's Rob Chapman and welcome to a review of some pedals. Yes, it's the pedals you're here to see, isn't it? The pedals, wonderful pedals. <laughs> ah, yes, this is a Harley Benton Headless Pink Wonder. This video isn't about this guitar, but I thought, you know what? I challenge myself and today, while I'm doing this pedal challenge, I would also challenge myself by playing a guitar that I am traditionally uh, known to avoid because it's headless and um, to my eyes it is a, an abomination but who knows I might be dissuaded and my mind might be changed and then I might make a full review of this guitar if you're interested it's pink it's missing a head and uh, let's see what happens therein anyway on the B cam I have uh, a beautiful little power plant from Harley Benton which is supplying energy and power and wonderness to the ultimate drive, is it? We're going to find out if it's the ultimate drive or not. And the extreme metal pedal from Harley Benton. There was a slight chuckle in my voice because it is very extreme. It is about the most extreme metal pedal I've ever played from Harley Benton. And um, <laughs> I think it's going to be a really interesting comparison. These two don't compare at all, but we're still going to go versus the ultimate drive versus the extreme metal uh, pedal. Since we're using some really great quality but fairly affordable pedals from Harley Benton, I figured I'd also use an amp brand that Toman sell, which is Bad Cat. I think, you know, one of the flagship high end boutique hand wired. Uh, amps from Bad Cat would sit perfectly well with Harley Benton um, pedals. So there you go. It's going to be great. I'm using a fairly clean tone. So this is how it sounds with this headless pink wonder. Perfect for metal because it's clean. And um, let's get straight into this demonstrazione. I'd like to thank Toman for supplying me with these incredible products to show you this fine, warm day here in Malta. And I'm gonna be putting little time codes so that you can jump straight to the metal one if you want to, or straight to the ultimate drive, or whatever takes your fancy this lovely day. So, again, here are the clean tones from the Headless Pink Wonder. <laughs> Okay, so the pink wonder's got some tones. So it sounds a lot better than I thought it would. It has these Roswell humbuckers. Gonna take my hat off if I didn't have such a sunburnt head and say Roswell is a really cool name for humbuckers. And I think we should start um, by trying the ultimate drive and see if it really is the ultimate drive or not. Only you can decide. This is purely a demonstration and as such, my opinion uh, is kept under my hat. Maybe, I don't know, we'll find out. I have already dialed in a tone that I like, just so that you know, okay, ready? Admit it, that sounds really good. I'm not sure whether it's the ultimate drive, but it definitely sounds really good. <laughs> it's a, I mean, it's screamery. It's got all sorts of purple plexi kind of vibes. <laughs> Let's tweakage, shall we? Sally? Shall we? You'll notice that I've not dialed in 
an exorbitant amount of gain. I'm merely toying with this paddle because it is the ultimate drive. So let's give it just a little bit more nudgy, a bit more level, and uh, we'll try it. We'll leave the tone where it is. We'll try that. So from to Do like it. I think it sounds great. I think it's not over the top. I think it's got a beautiful, warm, shimmering, fuzzy kind of thing. And I think it's probably more than I would ever need. We're going to find out if it's more than I'd ever need. But what I want to know is does it do the tube screamer trick of we get rid of almost all the gain and just use the level to drive an out and see what happens? Let's try that. me intrigued we're gonna go all the level no gain and see what happens It's a kick-ass pedal. It's really affordable and it's really good. I wish it had an extra button like this extreme and you could toggle on or off the game. I think that would be really cool. So we're gonna back off the level because there's quite a lot of that. Sorry, Mr. Bandcat. We're gonna go uh, lots and lots and lots of gain, see what happens. This is gonna be too much, but just for fun, bear with me. <laughs> yeah, it's like a snowstorm. So obviously it's way too much gain, but let's just play with it and see what happens if I brighten it. Okay, it's not really supposed to do that. I think if my amp was more crunchy, I think this would give you the beautiful lead boost that you want to kick it over. Uh, I'll just experiment with that. I'm gonna put this on the EF86 valves. So that's crunch. And I'm gonna put this back to where I liked it before. <laughs> works so uh, good interesting the ultimate drive is it the ultimate drive pedal I don't know I think it's definitely a very good drive pedal but is it better <laughs> is it better than the extreme metal we're gonna find out 
Let me quickly tune this Pink Wander and see where we are. Because something I've discovered about headless guitars is that they keep their tuning really well. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite surprising. I've been giving this welly before the demo and after. I tuned it once and it's pretty much sustained everything. I'm guessing because there's only one point of alteration available to it, which means less moving parts, which is kind of good. Anyway, so Extreme Metal, are you ready for this? Well, it's got that bright boxy vibe that I think I can get rid of if I tweak the mid and treble frequencies in a certain way. But it is very metal, but it's very old school metal. It's very much like, well, it's very old school metal, so. <laughs> This is almost entirely modelled after old school Metallica vibes. It reminds me of tracks like Green Hell. I don't know if any of you guys will be old enough to remember some of the B-side original Metallica tracks. Um, when you hear this kind of tonality, you might initially be forgiven for thinking it sounds a bit waspy, a bit fuzzy, but if you put it loud enough and the speaker is allowed to give off what it wants, if you dial back some of the mid that you normally put in, uh, you end up with quite an authentic old school Metallica tone. Anyway, check this. Check this out. <laughs> If anything, too much gain, because the original plexi stuff they were playing didn't have that much. Forgive me, I haven't played Metallica in a long time. It feels kind of nice to get back in the saddle and gallop, to be honest with you. <laughs> I left this style of playing behind me a long time ago, but it is enjoyable to do so. There's another button. Now I've played with this button and it does a thing that you wouldn't expect. Uh, it's a frequency boost and I think it's really kind of made for soloing. But check this out. If I go from... Not a lot you can do with that. I'm wondering if I can hack it slightly and see what happens if I turn it off and turn it on. Yeah, that's quite pleasing actually. It's doing something kind of wah-like to the tone. In a versus battle <clears throat> between the extreme metal and the ultimate drive, the ultimate drive wins. It's the ultimate drive in this particular demonstration, but the question on everybody's lips is, does the pink headless guitar feel nice to play? Yes, begrudgingly, it feels great. <laughs> and what do these pedals uh, sound like together? Can I make them work together? That's the question. So, wish me luck. Back off the game. 
So as you could make it work, but I wouldn't do it if I were you. If you want to go for old school metal tones through a clean amplifier, the extreme metal will do it for you. It'll get you into the puppets blackened kind of vibe. If you want a great distortion pedal that will do wonders in front of anything, probably the ultimate drive is pretty much up there, isn't it? It's good. It's really good. Thank you uh, to the power plant for supplying our energy today. Thank you to Toman for sending us all this interesting and exciting gear. And thank you to you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Please subscribe, press like, and comment something interesting down below that I may read and join you for a few minutes with a coffee. Take it easy. Chappas up. Oh, ho, 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 ho.